Well, we're seeing levels of transmission that are simply too high. Uh, we would be categorised as a dark red country according to the ECDC official categorisation because we've got more than 500 cases per 100,000 population in the last 14 days. It's in excess of 520 at the moment. Uh, uh, our five-day average suggests that we're seeing in excess of 1,800 cases on a given on a given day. So it's really important if you're if you're a person who's not yet vaccinated, and there are still a lot of people under the age of 30 who are not yet fully vaccinated and fully protected through vaccination. The chances of you bumping into somebody who has the disease are very high and so you really need to take real precaution until you get vaccinated. Stay away from the kinds of settings in which you're going to interact with other people, whether those are sporting or whether those are leisure or family circumstances, until you get to the point where you're fully protected from vaccination. I think that message is really important now given that the disease transmission levels are so high. And we now know that the HSE has more than sufficient supplies of vaccine and more than sufficient capacity to give you your vaccine. So if you haven't had the opportunity to come forward for your first dose, or if you've missed your appointment for your second dose, or you haven't had an opportunity to come forward, it's not too late. Register now, come forward, get vaccinated. Let the period of time elapse then after your second dose, one week if it's been Pfizer, two weeks if it's been Moderna, then you can see yourself as been fully protected. And some of the kinds of activities that I'm advising you to not undertake at these levels of trans disease transmission will, be, will, become, will, will offer you uh, greater protection. So vaccination is the most important thing. They need to be able to undertake then their own individual risk assessments, uh, understand the difference between the kind of environment in which uh, transmission is likely. So even at these high levels of so even at high levels of protection from vaccination, these levels of disease mean that it's still possible for people who are vaccinated to pick up the disease because what we call the force of infection is so high. So if you're in an indoor environment, particularly where there's crowds of people, if people are not wearing masks and so on, these are the kinds of circumstances that you need to be able to assess if you're not comfortable walk away from that. And then all the basic measures that we've been advocating since the beginning, like washing your hands and what we call respiratory etiquette. So if you've got respiratory symptoms, you have to do the right thing. What that means, you don't go out and about socialising, interacting with other people if you've got symptoms. If you've got cough and cold type symptoms, runny noses and so on, you need to self-isolate, contact your GP, be advised by your GP as to whether you need a test and to take it from there. It's simply now, uh, no longer acceptable for us if we've got colds, sniffles, uh, flu type symptoms for us to be going to work, to be putting other people at risk who we work with, to be going and visiting with other family members indoors in particular, uh, to be going out and socialising in the pub or the cinema or wherever it may be, or, or, or indeed to be going into the school or, 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 or college environment. If you've got these symptoms, stay away, be advised by your GP.